play golf for a variety of different reasons, don't we? Sometimes to test ourselves against the scorecard, sometimes for a bit of a laugh with our mates, and sometimes, sometimes just for a little bit of pure, unadulterated fun. Now, I found somewhere in the northwest of Scotland, just above Oban, a little island called the Isle of Eriska Hotel Spa and Golf, a nine hole course created by Howard Swan back in the 90s. And I think I've discovered a little piece of golfing heaven. And as you can see, the setting is absolutely glorious. Water, the lowland island of Lismore, and then the rugged hills beyond. Unfortunately, I now face a bunker shot playing straight towards the water. Well, this par 3 fifth is one of my very favourite holes on the course. It's played from a raised tee right down by the waterside here, up to a green, a little bit above you, bunkers all around, and a slight tear in the middle. It's got a real lynx feel up at the green, and thankfully today it's also slightly downwind. I was lucky enough to stay in the hotel last night. It's a five-star Scottish baronial hotel, oak panelled hall, roaring log fire, wonderful rooms and a great, great meal in the dining room. Uh, it really is a very, very special place indeed. I'm standing just behind the fourth green at Glen Cruton Golf Club near Oban. To my right, the first tee and away to my right there, you can probably see a steep bank. That is the extraordinary first hole where you hit a long, then up and over a one in two slope to a green over that crest. Some 440 odd yards and today into a howling gale, absolutely unreachable, even for the very best in the game, I would think. Conversely, coming back down here, the fourth green's a par four of some 270, 280 yards, and the way the wind is today, you could probably knock it on there with a three wood without too much trouble. And up beyond there, a whole network, a real labyrinth of absolutely extraordinary golf holes. Here I am on the 11th green at Glen Cruton Golf Club, uh, long par three, straight into the wind today, very, very difficult hole behind me, all sorts of holes playing through rocky outcrops, up and down, steep slopes, big drops, steep climbs, uh, a lot of really, really difficult golf holes, uh, especially when the wind is blowing as it is today. It's a little bit like in places, you, do, do you know those uh, extraordinary golf hole calendars you used to be able to get? Maybe you can still get them, I don't know. It's a little bit like those in places. Unique is probably an overused word when it comes to golf courses and indeed life in general, but uh, I feel what Glen Cruden's got is really something that I've not experienced anywhere else. I've played hilly courses, I've played ones that are up and down, but I'm not sure I've played anywhere that is so unrelentingly up and down throughout the entire round. It really is quite an extraordinary golfing experience. Don't be put off by the modest yardage on the scorecard. It's only four, three and a half, something like that, but uh, it'll play a lot longer than that, especially when the wind is blowing and you won't come off here really knowing how to play the course until you've played it a few times, I think. You've got to know exactly where to hit it, how much uphill it is, how much to take off, how much to add on to the yardages. It really is quite a special golfing experience and it's one that will keep you fit too because some of the hills are one in two in places, I would say.